please join us in saying the pledge. With Mrs. Lanny's fourth grade class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to Trivia Time. This time the riddle is going to be a little bit more challenging. Are you ready for the question? If you need to write it down, you can. It's been around for millions of years, but it's no older than a month. What is it? The answer will be revealed at the end of the episode. I'm Rhea. I'm Caitlin. Next up is our bowling skit, made by our sixth grade. Our actors were Aiden, Jay, and Hunter. The people behind the camera were Ryan H. and Rhea G. I hope you enjoy, enjoy our, our skit. Let's go. Bullying is never okay. If you see bullying, be an upstander. Or go tell a teacher. Remember to treat others the way you want to be treated. Everyone has feelings. Everyone is equal. Let's stand up to bullying together. Good morning, Hatfield. I'm Meet. I'm Ryan. We were lucky enough to have a mind scientist visit our school named Radioactive Rick. Here are some clips from the assembly and an interview hosted by our studio club. Now three, you have to say I chew. One, two, three. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, I'm Meet. And I'm Zach. Okay, we're interviewing Radioactive Rick, today the mad scientist. Okay, let's get on to the first question. What is the best part of the job of your job? The best part of my job is getting kids excited about science and making them want to learn more about science and see how cool and fun and exciting it could be. Okay. What made you become a mad scientist? I became a mad scientist because I always liked science when I was little, and I loved science in school, and I loved doing all the experiments. And when I heard about this company called Mad Science of New Jersey, I thought, that sounds like a great job, because I can do science experiments, and I can have fun, and I can teach kids science at the same time. Okay, question three. What is the worst part of your job? Hmm, the worst part. There's not really a worst part. 
Maybe just having to clean up my mess after every show. That's probably the only bad part. Besides that, there is no bad part. <laughs> That's nice. Are there any dangerous parts of your job? Dangerous. There could be lots of dangerous experiments. I do lots of different shows besides the one that you guys saw. And some of them have dangerous things like fire or dry ice. But as long as you are trained on it and you practice and you are smart about it, then it's pretty safe if you know what you're doing and you won't get hurt. Okay. How long have you been a mad scientist? Ten years. A very long time. Yep. What's, what's your most favorite experiment that you have ever done? My favorite experiment, well, one of them is definitely one that you guys saw today, which is the vortex generator, where we have the trash can filled with fog, and we hit it, and big smoke rings fly out of it and go across the whole room, and the, all of the audience goes crazy. That is probably one of my all-time favorite experiments. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Did you guys enjoy the show? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for coming to this interview. Thanks for having me. That was fun. Our school has recently started a new program called the Hawk School Store. The way it works is students earn tickets and they can cash in those tickets for prizes. You get tickets by demonstrating good behavior. Good job demonstrating good Hawks behavior, guys. And we're back. The answer is the moon. <laughs>